Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome, and uh, thank you for joining us for this Thursday night live stream with uh, prayer and meditation. We're just going to tap in for a few moments and, and go in and uh, reset, refresh, renew on this Thursday night. Shout out to everybody who is hanging out with us here on the Zoom for the School of the Mystics later after the live stream, as well as everybody hanging out, watching on Facebook and YouTube, no matter where you're watching, just know that we love each and every one of you guys and our hearts are for you. And uh, we just want to invite you to take a few moments tonight to tap into the presence of God. Take a few moments just to close your eyes, to meditate, to forget about the cares of the world and just to go deeper into the heart of God for what God has for you tonight, this day. You know, Jesus taught us how to pray and he says, Father, give us this day our daily bread. And uh, there's also another scripture that says that man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So you got to go in for yourself. You have to go in and get your daily bread to sustain yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually as well. So that's what we're doing tonight. Just a few moments, just an excuse to get into his presence. Listen, everything's going to be okay. Everything's good. It always is. If anybody has any prayer requests, feel free to type them in chat. We'll be watching the chat and, uh, and praying for you guys. Anything like that. Just let us know. If you want to join us on the back end, the link is there uh, for the partners to, to hang out with us after the live stream as well. So we'll just go ahead and get tapped in. Uh, just close your eyes with us just for a moment. Just listen to that beautiful music. And we're just going to invite the presence of God in as if he needs an invitation. God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your spirit, God. I just pray that you show up tonight. Speak to hearts. Touch minds. God, renew souls and spirits tonight. Put a right spirit within us. We just want to hang out with you for a little while and see what heaven's doing. Father, that you would give us a vision from heaven that we can see things from your perspective. Just remove any blockages, any hearts of stone, God. We ask for a heart of flesh tonight that cries out, Abba, Father. We just want to lavish our love upon you tonight, Father. We know that you inhabit the praises of your people. So whoever's listening, wherever you are, just begin to tell them how thankful you are. Tell them how good he is. Just approach this night, this hour, just with an attitude of gratitude. How thankful are you for his presence? How thankful are you for his bliss and for his love and for his grace? I'm forever in debt. I'm thankful that I sat in darkness and seen a great light. Thank you for your beauty and for your love, God, each and every one of us tonight. Prepare our hearts to go in. We thank you so much, so much, so much. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Just kind of stand that attitude for a few moments.
and your heart beats I wanna feel it When your voice speaks I wanna hear it When your eyes cry I wanna catch the tears I wanna
love that song. It's a good one. Stay in that attitude just of worship. Peace, peace, peace. Again, if you have any prayer requests, just uh, type them there in the chat. And we'll get to them shortly. in through the nostrils, breathing in the peace, the love, the joy, and the bliss of God through the nostrils. At the peak of that breath, there'll be this thanksgiving, this gratitude that comes forth at the very peak of that breath. We'll breathe in, hold it for a second, and then we'll release it through our lungs, up through the mouth. So breathe in through the nose, top is gratitude, and release through the mouth. Breathe two, one, breathe in. Everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Where there is no breath, there is no praise. So we're just thankful that we're here, that we have life in our nostrils and in our lungs, and that we're connected with all of creation, with all the divine beings, and with each other, connected with our Father, with our earthly mother, we thank you. We just show up in gratitude that we're here. No matter what the future holds, no matter about the past, but in the present moment, we find peace as our inheritance. We just shift our gaze upward to life and love. Three, two, one, breathing in again. Release. Breathing in all the peace and the love again that you need for this day. Releasing the stress, the worry, the doubt, the cares of the day. With each exhale, just letting it go. Three, two, one, breathe in again deeply. And release. Relaxing your shoulders. of any trial, of any situation or uncertainty, Lord, you give us a perfect peace. And that's one thing that we will contend for is our peace, which is our inheritance as sons and daughters of the living God. Not a peace as is the world can give, for that fades away and comes and goes, but an everlasting peace that we have within you that we can draw strength from our identity flows from this perfect peace and this perfect love that again casts out all fear as well so right now fear just to be dismayed and gone I ask for perfect love and perfect peace to come in to each and every person sitting here listening to this for peace to invade their life invade their heart right now greater levels of it as well greater levels of peace greater levels of joy whatever's blocking them, whatever's becoming a ceiling to them for this joy, that it now become a footstool, that it now become the ground floor as we step into new levels, releasing anything that hinders, anything that clouds the vision or blocks the mind. We release it right now. Moving past it, just let it flow off of you. Just as rivers of living water come to you, let it just wash away anything that's stagnant that's not supposed to be there. With this water, with this river, comes purpose and clarity and exactly what you need for this moment. Exactly what you need. So just receive it.
prayed for Dale. Dale's asking for prayer. Uh, it's his prayer request again for clarity of purpose in my next steps. Yes. Lord, that you would send forth your angels to make the path straight for my friend. Clarity of vision. But I thank you that there's a gift of faith as well. Just as a step out in faith and not knowing is just a bit of uncertainty. But at the same time, trust. Let hope arise, let that faith arise so that she can fully trust in you and your plan. That you know exactly where she is right now. You haven't forgot about her. And that your love and your heart is for her. be taken care of, clear vision, stepping out in faith, it's released now, now, now. There it is, just allow it to unfold, see it coming. has any questions or has any prayer requests again for, that are in the zoom chat with us just raise your hand and we'll have uh, Josh bring you in if you have a question or for any prayer you want to release anything as well you're welcome Dale um, Christy says uh, prayer request for more wisdom and discernment from the Holy Ghost in all areas of my life yes and I receive that as well and I release it to you Anybody else who needs it, discernment in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. And it's a, just a continual prayer to not judge things according to the flesh, but that we'll judge everything according to the fruit. And I do believe that that's the discernment of the Holy Spirit is to look at the fruit and to ju judge that. That's how Jesus judged righteously with compassion, long-suffering as well, with the fruits of the spirits uh, linked in there as well. Just to receive that, just a greater vision, more discernment, to be able to tell what the good and perfect will of God is. And that comes with Romans 12 too, with renewing your mind, so that you may be able to tell what the good and perfect will of God is by the renewing of your mind. So let's just make a declaration that we'll stop filling our mind with garbage. We know the old adage, garbage in, garbage out. We'll start filling our mind with beautiful things. The scripture says to think on these things. If there be anything that is good, anything noble, anything of virtue, anything that is worthy, Think on these things. There's a reason. Because when we're tapping into renewing our mind, we got to make sure that we are filling our mind with beautiful things. If it's death, if it's destruction, if it's chaos, garbage in, garbage out. So let's just make that declaration that we will be like King David. Even Job says something similar, talking about making a covenant with my eyes that I may not behold that evil thing. And if I look upon it, it shall by no means cling to me. But we're on social media. We're just, we're at the mercy of the algorithms. You're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And then the unclean thing clings to you. You take it to bed with you. You think about it later. It's just clinging to you. that right now God the washing of your word because you're beautiful I thank you Lord that you care for us you care for your children you said to cast our cares upon you for you care for us God we do that right now the cares of the day the worries of the world we lay it down freely as a sacrifice take it thank you for your burden God, thank you for your heart. Yes, yes, yes. And amen, amen, amen. Hmm. And I, 
just I'm just thankful that I know I'm in a company of people. You know, when we talk about those algorithms and all the crazy and confusion stuff out there, I'm just thankful that I'm in a company of people who have taken a stand to create something beautiful to push into the world. Whether that's prayer, whether that's beautiful music and mindful meditations and every each and every one of you guys who have something beautiful to offer the world. Listen, I know as much power as the enemy has and all this negativity, we have just as much power to create a beautiful change in our world and to impact the lives of others. Come on, man. You're here for a reason. You have greatness inside of you. Beautiful things. Share those testimonies. The testimonies. Don't be scared no matter how far out it is. Share those testimonies because what it, what it does is it shows those individuals that what God did for you, he can do for them. What miracles that you have received and it's happened in your personal life, it wasn't just for you. You know that. Open up and share it. Let's reverse the curse. Let's change the tide. We can do it. We're doing it. Let's be mindful about it. Come on, y'all. It's good. Let your light shine. From TKF, Worker's Wife, from feeling lost in her path to the wholeness and enlightenment. For sure, for sure. You know, it's the Holy Spirit. Draw nigh to God. The beautiful thing about the Holy Spirit is that he's our teacher and he's our guide. And so all of those things that you just mentioned there on the, on the road and path to enlightenment, there's wisdom in things that can only be revealed to you through the Holy Spirit. You're not going to get them from me. I can teach you cool stuff. Other people can too. But until the Holy Spirit reveals it to your heart and connects it to your intellect, you're not going to get it. And there's so, there's mysteries, there's beautiful things. When we're talking about enlightenment that only the Holy Spirit can reveal to you. So going deeper into that relationship, talking to him as you would a friend, just like you would a friend. Having I'm talking about having conversations throughout the day as a friend next to you. Um, he says, I will lead you and guide you into all truths. You know, when Jesus went to the cross, he says, it's better that I go. They're, they're begging him to stay. Listen, there's other ways we can do this. Jesus said, no, it's better that I go because when I go, the Father will send the comforter, the Holy Spirit that will comfort you, lead you, teach you, convict the world of sin, and guide you into all truth. And then we go into 1 John where it says that, the Holy Spirit your teacher and that you need not any man to teach you for the Holy Spirit will teach you in all things that's not that we neglect the teachings of and testimonies of friends and, and people we trust but it's understanding that I'm not going to get anything unless the Holy Spirit reveals it to my heart the deep secrets he knows exactly where I am we talk about synchronicities and beautiful ecstatic experiences the Holy Spirit is the one who sets all of that stuff up and moves it around sends angels, binds demons, all of that stuff. So just drawing closer to the Holy Spirit in all of this. So that's wisdom for sure for all of us, for you. And we'll just bless you with that. God, I thank you that you'll take my friend and his wife deeper into your love. Just show them new levels of who you are. Show them what true enlightenment is. Show them that true contentment is godliness with contentment that is great gain to be content, not to be looking for the next truth or the next enigma or the next really deep thing, but just to, even the, the small things in life, just to be enamored with that. The beauty and the complexity of the breath, the heartbeat, how we're connected to you, how much we're loved, how you hear us when we pray, how you hear us when we ask, just to be enamored with the small things, the little things in life because they're very deep. That's what the world doesn't understand. We try to go deeper and deeper and deeper. People even get mixed up in mystery schools and weird occult practices, wanting something really deep, but the simplicities are really where the, the, the depths are. 
that you can go deeper and deeper and deeper into the beginning at things that you learned a long time ago that go a lot deeper and they will actually be your ticket into any type of mystery don't forsake the, the first fruits return to your first love keep it simple keep it simple so just receive that simple 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 easy yoke is easy burden is light Lord allow us to drink from your cup
lie down, and find a comfortable place to relax. Uh, for a breakthrough 
and then Jordan in uh, Zoom raised his hand. Okay. Okay, y'all yeah, pray for um, for Connor, and then we'll bring we'll bring Jordan in. Okay. And uh, this is everybody who needs breakthrough. What is that? That is uh, you need to, you need to get to the next level. There's something more. There's a wall. There's something that's that's hindering you. And, and I think even for many people. Um, there's a, a place of complacency and you don't know what's next. You you may feel like this is it. This is, it doesn't get any better. It's just kind of um, plateauing out, but there's always more. There's always more. So just to be able to break through that wall to the next level, even if you don't know what it is, um, just stagnancy gotten weary and well-doing so you need a breakthrough God I just pray that you just break through these walls that we've we've built these places of complacency and stagnancy and we think that this is it this is pretty much normal this is as good as it gets Lord we know there's more even for those who have gotten comfortable Lord that you would just shake them up Lord shake their foundations that they would just begin to inquire and want to know more and want to go deeper show them that there's more show them that there's something on the other side and that it's for them just removing those blockages whatever that is illuminating the path just to go deeper and deeper and deeper into it stagnancy, no more sitting on the bench, watching everyone else. It's your turn to get in and get in the game. Do it. Everyone else is doing it. You say, what if people judge me? What if I look silly? Well, they're judging you already. And you already look a little silly just sitting there. So they're judging you if you sit there. They're judging you if you get in the game. Why not? do what you were called to do, step into your destiny, receive your breakthrough, take it now, peace of God, just receive it, now, you have permission to step into it, whatever it is, whatever it looks like, even if you don't know, that's good, even better, why not, let's tap into the mystery, trying to figure it out figure all the steps out have kind of that's kind of hindered you anyway so step into the mystery a little bit shake things up it's good exactly who cares mystic apex says in chat but all right. what are you doing you all right hey brother how are you man really really good bro uh, i'll make this quite quick because i'm on a break but i'd just like to just take a moment to pray for everybody, for being closer to you, feel that he isn't. For me, for a long time, I felt that he wasn't close, and but I realized he was just putting me through a test, and with everything going on in the world, and, you know, it scared me, you know, it's being an empath and really caring for the world and wanting to help him. But I've realized that he was in my heart, and I just had to wake up, and he's in your heart too, and he's there for everybody, and you're all close all closer than you can be you know you're already as close as you can be to him just by being here tonight and accepting the father's love and knowing that there's something greater than all of us you know and there's already looking after the world as much as we don't see it with the need of the and things like that you know it's, but it's not of our control what we can do is you know grow our hearts in christ for christ and you know, let everybody else their hearts trust us there's trust ourselves long time I doubted myself so thank you Jesus honestly for really honestly thank you for opening my heart and showing me the truth the way you have and I hope you can shine a light on people that may doubt at the minute or, or question like I did Lord just uplift them send them lots of love Lord and all the love that I send to you make sure it goes around the world where it's needed by right? good man that's good thank you and I, I know it's coming from your heart bro and you have a you have a good heart, man. Thank you. You all do. You all do too. Thank you, bro. Good to see you, man. 
I know we've been going back and forth in, in Messenger, but it's good to finally talk to you. Uh, no problem, no problem. It's, it's a pleasure being here, you know. There's, I was lost, you know, completely lost, if you know. But you said you found it. I still, I doubted that, doubted that. It made me realize that I needed to do a lot of inner work. And here I am, and I know that this is the right path. And I know that Christ is real and Christ is truth. And through us, we can show everybody else. And just, I just wish everybody to be happy. Maybe if it just takes the word smile, you know? Just take that minute to smile, relax, you know? Mm. Stay positive in yourself and you'll keep other people positive. That's all we can do. You know, stay positive in ourselves, keep everybody else positive. That's all we can do. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, God. Amen, bro. It's contagious, man. Keep it up, dude. For sure. Don't let nobody take that from you, bro. Never. I'm you. That's the true you. It's deep down within you. Don't let nothing take that away from you. Okay, we got a couple others here. One from Zoom, from uh, Ralston. Okay. Asking to join him in prayer, praying for those who are dealing with grief, grief, grief from sickness. Many are dying from sickness and violence. His coworker lost a close friend due to COVID and there were suicide bombs went off in Baghdad. You wish everyone to release and ease and uh, ease by God. And then well, we have another one in YouTube from Adam, and we'll get to that one after you get that okay. get done with that one. For sure. Yeah, Ralston, for sure, man. Um, you know, we got to take care of ourselves. Um, there's a lot of people um, sick in their in their body and uh, dying of sickness and violence. And uh, I uh, I buried my my. Uh, great uncle today I was a pallbearer today at a funeral and uh yeah he was he was older and uh but he you know he had COVID or whatever but I don't I don't necessarily know that this was from COVID but yeah, people are sick for sure um but we're seeing a lot of people get healed too man we're seeing a lot of people kick it we're seeing a lot of people I think it's cool too like even after these streams and stuff there's been several people come on here with COVID come on here for prayer and the next day they're just like hey i'm better like come on i love it just breathe deeply man take your breath back take your breath back come on three two one breathe in dave i see you dave breathe in with me bro three two one let's go dave's quarantined with it right now he's releasing it right now when he exhales it's gone right now releasing it there it is thank you Breathe in, three, two, one, in. Release. Yeah, so anybody who's uh, sick in body, just ask for a special touch right now just to know how much that they're loved. And just knowing how much they're loved, just allow that love to just spark life back in them. Any sickness, any virus, any, 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 out, any invading outside force that wants to come against their temple we just expel it right now God with your love you said you sent forth your word to heal them so we speak healing right now we send forth your word we thank you right now for the word made flesh it's manifested amongst men to be our peace to be our healing right now to receive Thank you. Touching the bodies, minds, and spirits as well. Those sick in spirit, sick in their mind right now. They need a touch. Voices, people hearing voices right now to quiet the voices of the accuser. Lord, you said, My sheep hear my voice, and a stranger's voice they will not follow. Let them key in on your voice. That still, small voice, it's there key in on it right now and shut the mouth of the accusers right now thank you god thank you god thank you god amen and amen and we receive the release and ease by god ross thank you brother thank you thank you and um so what what does adam say uh, adams 
He apparently has a big test that he has to take tomorrow at, that is work related and job impacting. Okay, for sure. Uh, I just go ahead and thank God for promotion for Adam. Just promotion in all areas of his life, not just the job, his home life, his family life, his his social life, his friendship, his ministry, God, we just thank you for just a season of upgrade, God, stepping into 2021, an upgrade, adding to it, just let him receive it. perfect will for his life. You called him to provide for his family. Let's pray that the finances be more than enough. I pray that you give him the strength to persevere and not to give up because he's felt like giving up a lot, but just to persevere, keep moving, to run the race that's given to him. brother for using him giving him a platform may he honor you with it may he be an encouragement to the world amen amen what's up jeff jeff walsh is here what's up my brother just had him on the podcast uh tuesday it was a good talk sure uh christy raised her hand in discord come on in christy Hey, guys. I have a bit of a testimony I just want to share. Rod is asking for prayer request. And he's good. And I'll just like to tell what happened. So I was coming back from Alabama the other day, and I was on the road, and I ran over something. And I pulled over. So I pulled over. It was a big bolt sticking out my tire. It was huge. It was huge. And I was in the gas station. Nobody would help me. Nobody cared. It was it was crazy. And I just started crying. I'm like, God, what has happened to this world? And then like a few minutes later, I was there about 30 minutes. Some guy pulled up who has a towing company. And it took him five minutes to get the spare out from under my truck and put it back on. And took him about five minutes and I was like what do I owe you and he's like you don't owe me anything and I was like okay well thank you well, thank you so today I went to get my tire plugged and get it fixed and put it back on and so the guy did it at the mechanic shop I was like okay what do I owe you he's like you owe me nothing and, you know Psalms 50 15 says Psalm 50, 15 says, call upon me in the day of trouble and I shall rescue you and you will honor me. And just the fact that I didn't have to pay for nothing, not a tire, not for help for nothing. It's, it's amazing. And so I just wanted to share that. Just, you know, just keep the faith because God provides. He provides so much. Amen. Y'all. Psalm fifty fifteen. Yes. That's good. Call on me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you will honor me. That's a that's a that's a three point uh, sermon. But a, a, you know, you do this, this happens. If you call on me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you, and because I deliver you, what will you do? You will honor me. Like, what if you don't do the first thing, though? Like, what if we try to figure it out on our own in the day of trouble? Because that's what we do. We, we're in the day of trouble and we try to figure it out on our own. Like, a lot of times, you know, God is the last option. Like, we want to kind of, like, save up our, you know, uh, get me out of jail free cards. I don't want to. That's too small. I got I to gotta save that for something big. But it says, call, call on me in the day of trouble and I will rescue you, and you will honor me. That's good, that's a good scripture. Thanks for sharing that, that's a beautiful testimony, for sure. And I've been there, 
I've been there with those car troubles and uh, on the side of the road and nobody helps. And like you said, um, a car company or like a towing company comes by and they have just so happen to have all the, the right stuff um, on their on their truck and stuff and help you out for sure, man. It's good. Thank you for sharing that, Christy. Psalms 50, 15. Get in the word, people. This stuff becomes, this is alive. It's not just another book. It's good. Amen. Shout out to everybody hanging out with us in the chat. I see uh, Esther and Matthew, Dana, Mystic, all you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Jeff and Bridget, TC Hawk. And shout out to you guys. Only want to be on here just a few more minutes. If anybody has any other prayer requests or, or they want to share something, just feel free to raise your hand or type it in chat. And uh, love to hear it for sure. It's encouraging. It builds your faith, man. That these things still happen. Encourage somebody, man. Come on. It's good. Bring Dave in. I want to talk to Dave on air. <laughs> We're supposed to be doing an interview tonight anyway. Bring Dave in. <laughs> How to find them. Yeah, what's up, everybody? Hey, man. How you feeling? I feel really good. And uh, I'm I'm very thankful. I've been uh, I've been asking for prayer and and I've been practicing my Wim Hof breathing. And I also I like to envision myself like and then I'll do a little of his presence all over. So I I love I love the freedom of just experiencing the spirit of God. And uh, I I tell the nurses that call me every day. I'm feeling better and better. Um, my lungs feel strong. Um, and and again, when I practice a Wim Hof breathing method, I just think to myself, okay, I'm breathing in the breath of life. Yeah. May that breath of life go to every cell of my body. May Come it provide healing in every cell of my body. And you know, when I when I eat my food, I I ask, you know, may this food be transformed into food of light, giving giving health to every cell of my body. And I feel like, hey man, we have the power to alchemize, you know, in the spirit of God. And here we are. We're giving thanks. Beautiful things are happening in our body. We're 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 giving healing to people right now it's amazing what we can connect with so yes i am blessed thank you thank you truth it's good bro i feel it on you and you're right um will you mind leading us in in a breath or two or something whatever you feel led to what you've been doing so we can join in with you yeah yeah sure so if you all just want to take a minute and uh gather your thoughts and connect Connect to spirit, connect to God, connect to the Holy Spirit, and uh, just be present with that breath of life. And uh, as you're present with that breath of life, you know, think about think about the song of life, that heartbeat of God that you're connected to. And uh, may that breath come in as we breathe in together. May it fill every cell of our body with the oxygen that it needs, with the healing that it needs, transform our DNA into just beautiful life-giving uh, organism that's uh, giving glory to God with every movement we make. All right. So uh, on the count of three, breathe in and uh, hold it. One, two, three. And release. We'll do it again, and, and as we release, think about your breath from going in, that little pause, gratitude, and as we release that breath, that breath is like you just brush your teeth. It's like it's, like it's got Holy Spirit life on it. So when we go out in our thoughts, in our meditations, in our conversations, we can bless those around us, okay? So we'll do it on the count of three again. One, two, three, breathe in. I 
for this. And then uh, just a little Qigong practice that I do. So I'll have my hands. So the hands are, are healing, healing part of our body. Rub Qi around. Just imagine that our hands are an extension of God's healing energy. And in every molecule that we breathe, every every everything in the air that we can't see is is formulated with this beautiful healing light energy. And so I'm conscious of that, right? And, and I imagine like this ball of golden light. And and I'll just I'll just be thankful. Have God wash over me, through me. All this golden light affecting every cell of my body. So, uh, yeah, just have, have your hands out like this. And then uh, just consciously make that connection to that, that golden ball of light. And then just have it wash over and cleanse every cell of your body. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Good. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love it. Hey, Amen. Thanks for joining, bro. Yeah. And hey, what we're gonna have Dave on? I've been talking about it for a while. We're supposed to do something tonight, but uh. We'll, we'll probably, I think we're scheduled Monday, Monday night. We're going to do a live stream with Dave and we'll go into all this stuff and, and how it's transformed his life radically. Okay. You told me Tuesday, but if, oh, no, if Tuesday, you want me to I'm do tripping. it Monday, I'll do hey, it Monday. Hey, I think we're Tuesday. I got to <laughs> look, you know, whatever I told you. <laughs> all right. Love you, man. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Love you too. All right, so we'll just hang out here on the live stream just for a few more minutes. Again, let, let me know if anybody else would like prayer or would like to share. And um, the link to join us here on the Zoom is for the uh, Patreon partners. That's for any level of giving to hang out on the back end um, after the stream and stuff. We're going to hang out and uh, talk here for a few minutes. And if you want to be a part of that, you can. But uh, if you have any requests, just put them in the chat there and uh, we'll try to get to them as well. If anybody on Zoom wants to pray or wants to share a story again, um, feel free to do that. Feeling the buzz star, brother. Yeah, feeling the buzz star, brother. Yeah, yeah. And I like it too because everybody else has something beautiful to offer. Like I could easily come on and just end it or whatever, but I think that everybody who's had something to share, Christy and Dave, just kind of brought something different to this eclectic pot of gumbo tonight. That was something beautiful, each and of their own. So thank y'all for sharing. Listen, people need what you got, man. It's huge, you know? And uh, you're no longer sitting on the sideline. You know, you have something to offer. Your experiences are valid. Your beliefs, um, you know, you, you feel free to share them, whatever that is, you know? That's what it was supposed to be. Like, like a KRX has uh, raised his hand. Okay. It's me. Um, I'd like for our community to um, keep my cousin Jesus in mind. Um, he struggles with drug addiction really bad. He lost a daughter too, and he is really down on himself, and um, he did recover from a recent overdose which was great and then he gets these peaks and he is a roller coaster drug addiction is really a roller coaster and nobody can help him except for himself and I try to tell him that you know until he makes his mind up that that's not what he wants it's not going to change he has to learn that he wants something different for his life that there's a future for him and right now he's in jail and he got bit by a spider in there and they won't take him for any kind of medical help and uh it, i don't know what else to do for him um and i know he's not you know a hopeless case or anything but i mean just to you know keep those who struggle with that ailment um in in mind too because that's definitely another 
disease of the heart. Mm-hmm. And he, where is he at right now? He's in jail. He's in jail. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll pray for sure. Um, what's his name again? Jesus, you said? Jesus. Okay. Lord, I, I thank you for Tina just standing in, in the gap for her family member and, and one who is uh, passionate about healing and about their well-being. And it, even when it seems like other people have has given up on him, Lord, yes, people in this corner, he's got family members who are just contending and sending him good vibes and, and prayers and asking requests on his behalf, God. So I just pray that you honor uh, Tina's heart and honor her request. Lord, that we would be able to see him healed. We better see him whole and that addiction and, and anything that is outside of you, Lord, that that you would just take that that hunger and that taste away from him. Obviously, it doesn't fulfill him and it hasn't fulfilled, fulfilled him or moved him in a long time, God. But I just pray that you show him how you are the most high and that you are uh, you, you're better than any drug and you're, you're better than, than anything that we can fathom. And so I just ask you just to bless him right now. Heal his body. The, the, the spider bite, just pray you heal it up. Remove all of that, that stuff in there. Take it out and be gone and be healed right now. And let them let, let him have that awakening. A lot of people have had awakenings in jail and having time to sit down and to be away from the addictions and be away from the you know the, the things of the world and the normalcy of life and God I just pray you speak to his heart we bless him in Jesus name we thank you amen and amen thank you Tina Martin, see you here with us praying, brother. Hey, listen, there's a, the scripture, what is it in uh, um, Chronicles? It says that, that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways, that I will hear, hear from heaven and I will, he, I will heal them. I will heal their land. And I wonder how many of us have uh, are, are infatuated with prayer, man. You know, it seems unexciting to petition heaven or I don't know. I, I just feel like there's a famine of prayer. I don't I don't feel like people pray anymore. I don't know until like they have to, you know, versus like something. Let's just get let's get into prayer. Let's change the atmosphere. Let's put, put petition heaven. That's one thing. But there there's many types of prayer. And so I really feel like uh we need to get back into that. And my big thing is to do it myself. You know what I'm saying? It's my, my closet time. And and then to bring that here, you know, to the collective. But just to make sure that I'm doing it at home. And then we do it together. And so I just want to encourage people just to return to prayer, man. Just talk to God. Just that simple. Don't You don't even got to ask for nothing. You ain't got to ask for change or ask, pray for your nation. or what, Listen, that's cool too. But just hang out with your father. What's up, God? Can you hear me? <laughs> Are you there? Just that conversation, man. Just return back to that where every breath is a prayer. You know? And um, I know many of you have had beautiful experiences and, and encounters with the closeness of God, you know, in prayer. And he's closer than a brother. He's closer than a friend. And um, I think that there's, I think there's more to it. I don't think we've seen the beginning of of the the vastness of of, of a conversation with God. In the in the different ways, there's so many different ways. I, I'm working on a teaching, and I want to get it out soon. It just always goes in depth, and and then with the analytical mind, and then we never put it out. Ain't that right, Josh? We just we work on this stuff and we're so yeah. deep with it that we never put it out because it's not finished. But I gotta put it out. Yeah. As is. Yeah. I got too many projects myself. I just gotta continue <laughs> working. It means I'm not finished yet. <laughs> yeah, man. 
We got like, a couple people raising up their hands in the Zoom. Too. Okay. And One, I want to uh, say thank you for uh, Leanne, who came, just came on as a supporter there on on YouTube as well. So thank you for that. Barbie, you ready? is suffering from uh, past trauma. He basically feels like Job in the Bible. Anything that can happen to him happens to him. He's he's a, a widower. He just recently lost uh, his place to live. He's homeless, but he's slowly getting back on his feet. And he just, he can't understand why he just can't move forward. Uh, I just wanted to send prayers for him um, to help with his anxiety, his drinking. He's a recovering ish alcoholic. Um, so, just I don't think anybody's really ever prayed for him before, honestly. Mm -hmm. I thought this would be good. <laughs> yeah. His name is Darno. Darno? D Darno, D A R N E L. Okay. Darno. Yeah. Darn no, darn no, for sure. I mean, you know that, you know, people with any addiction really are, are hurting. You know, they're, 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 they're looking to feel, they're looking to, they're looking for relief and release. Um, they they, they want to feel alive. They're numb and they want to feel something and, um, or, or they're trying to numb something. And, uh, and we know that those are things that we have to bring to God. When we're in trouble, call upon him in the time of trouble. He'll deliver you and you'll honor him. So God, we just thank you for that scripture tonight. And we just pray that over Darnell, that he'll just try you. Just know that he's tried and exhausted all other options and nothing is working just to try you. And, and I just see that the, the religious trauma or his idea of what you, God is or what Jesus is or any of that stuff that's totally misconstrued and he's judged it off of someone with a bad representation. God, I just pray you erase that out of his mind and just let him see you in your beauty. Let him catch a glimpse of, of who you really are. And if he has to see that through Barbie or, or whatever, God, I just pray you invade his life Take his sickness away from him. Give him peace. As he's in this place of searching and finding none, we just ask you to give him peace. Let Barbie's words and let these prayers not fall upon death ears, but let them go out and do what they're supposed to do. Penetrate his heart. Heal his mind, I pray. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you, Barbie. And I want to give a shout out to Barbie, too, because she she did the Path of the Healer program and um, she just launched her blog and we did her website and it's amazing. It is the mended spirit dot us dot us. Y'all go check out her blog. And um, I had fun creating that website with her and it looks amazing. And it um, looks so good. <laughs> you reach did reach out to her if y'all have any questions. Them. She's got some cool stuff, and, and that your your first blog is amazing, so definitely well, keep that you. up. <laughs> thank you. The Mended Spirit dot us. Y'all go check it out. It's a good site, and we're gonna see more coming from her. She's got an awesome guided meditation she did too, so that's free to download on her page. Go check that out. So, awesome, awesome. Reading your comments here. I think Nicole raised her hand again. Okay. I think Carex. I was just thinking maybe it'd be a good idea during our class on Thursdays that uh, we come up with a word to to um, kind of pull back to throughout the week and uh, sort of like a, a week prayer, you know what I mean? Like if we have healing or or whatever you know as a class we decide that we just keep that in the forefront of our mind and, and remind ourselves throughout the week that's always helped me yeah well hey i say i say this week uh psalm 50 15. psalm 50 15 and then 
just to go a little bit deeper to maybe explore and get some context behind that as well, because you'll get greater revelation about what it means to you and, and, and you know, where the, the, the writer, whether it was David, uh, you know, what I'm saying writing about it, you know, what he was going through when he wrote that, like how deep of a trouble was he in? Was he just in a little bit of trouble or was he like in there's no way out? And so God was his last resort. And I'm telling you, that it's, that's just meditating upon the word. Uh, you can meditate on, on those three those three lines and you're good, but just get some context and just allow God to unfold that thing and pull you into it, man. And and you know what? And uh and it's it's amazing. Uh, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. When the word just opens up and, and you're not reading it anymore, but it's reading you. It's reading you. Um so many times like that in, in my life and and God speaks through all things and, and, and synchronicities and through podcasts and through other people and like so much stuff God speaks through and I feel like some of us will say well we don't read the Bible because God speaks through everything the trees or the you know the wind or whatever and so we we see and feel and and hear God in everything that we don't open up the scriptures but there's nothing like it. There is nothing like it. So it's just a call to explore a little bit and start there. Start since, you know, Psalm 50, 15, 15 is only the 15th verse in. Start at the beginning of Psalm 50. Get some context and let's go in and maybe we can talk about it a little bit. Somebody help me remember to bring it up next week. And we'll talk about maybe some context that we got from it or a nugget. Because God will drop something in your spirit that he hasn't shown anyone else. That's the, the cool thing about it. Like You can approach it from, from some place and get a nugget of, about a context that nobody has ever seen. And then you read it and boom, it becomes it becomes so real and you can share it with people. And, and that's 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 the beauty of it. So thank you for that, Tina, for, you know bringing that to the table. So let's do that for next week. We'll talk about it uh, next week. But if you find a few minutes, Psalm 50, right there at the beginning. Um, Annie says, I have so many of my family with addiction and my oldest son as well. They're sending love and light for sure. Um, 100, Annie says, also says, scripture is amazing. And Martin as well, yes, life in the word, yeah. There's life in it. Um, Dana, I see you. Chris, guitarist, God's love is unfathomable in its depth, infinite in its reach, and can be found within you. Christ is here to the core of your very being, more essential to you than your mind, body, and even vital energy, for sure. It's that life force, you know. I had a, um, <laughs> did an interesting um, interview last night and uh we kind of i don't like to argue and stuff but we got into this little debate about you know god's light and what the light light workers and and healing energy and stuff like that and um uh, i'm sure the interview will be released in a couple days and it was a little awkward but i'm sure you guys will enjoy it but just to see god's light in everything that is good that's one thing. You know, we like to step beyond that and see him in the bad stuff, too. Like, that's not everybody can go there. But to see him in everything that's good and everybody who is is he's you know, he said, if they're not a, if they're not against me, they're for me. You know what I'm saying? Well, they, they didn't say they didn't use your name, Lord. Listen, if they're not against us, they're for us, man. They're on our team. Come on now. There's levels to this stuff. Y'all know that. It's good. So I'll share that when it comes out. But uh, we had fun in either way. And we found some common ground later on in the discussion. Um, Nate, the guy, what up, man? He says, true seeker, this is mad peace. Soothing. Yeah, it's that goose fraba, man. Just get into the bliss. Get into God's healing love, man. It's there for all of us. Why not? Mellow you out. Start. I guarantee you're going to have a great night's sleep. And you're going to have a, an amazing day tomorrow encouraged and rejuvenated for sure 100 percent. probably the, not just tomorrow probably the whole next week like you take it with you for sure 
so yeah namaste we're gonna go ahead and end this live stream thanks to everybody who was hanging out with us here live and uh, we're gonna hang out for a little bit longer uh on the back end here so if you guys want to do that feel free to join um you get access to this like for as little as a dollar so there's a bunch of cool stuff you get but check it out thank you all for for hanging out with us i enjoyed it and uh and i need it just as much as anyone else so um all of the words that i'm praying and, and preaching and speaking i'm praying preaching and speaking to myself and i need god's love and i need prayer in my life and and fellowship with one another more than than any of you guys so i'm thankful that we have a a community of like-minded individuals uh a community that is so diverse as it is with people with all types of backgrounds and beliefs and all of that stuff and we put we put our disagreements to the side to come together for the greater good which is love and light and uh and i think that that is jesus that is christ anything that is beauty anything that is virtuous that is wholesome um and even the fact that we know we have disagreements and we put that stuff stuff aside for that man it can't stop us love y'all thanks for hanging out everybody we're gonna do this again we do this every thursday and um all that good stuff so peace and shalom everyone good night good night